Hi everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Today I thought I'd show um, two bags that I got from the online outlet sale. Um, I'm going to start with this one which is the VBU satchel. Um, but before I actually get into this bag, I, I thought uh, something was interesting when I, when I first got this uh, got this bag and unwrapped it. Um, I love the feel of it, and the color is called Blue Chambray. And when I touched it, and when I looked at it, it, it seemed really familiar, and I, it made me think of the straps on Persistence Patchwork, which um, is the new, uh, newly released, recently released, re released limited edition um, in honor of the 100th anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment. And I do have a, a video I, I did when I first got this bag, so I'll put a link to that. But in that video, I was talking about the straps, and I was saying they're like a medium color denim, and it's a nice denim. But I'm thinking now it feels a lot like this. It's, it's just a slightly different shade, but it really has the feel of this. I'm run, wondering if this really isn't denim, but it's more of a chambray, or that what they're calling denim sometimes maybe is really more of this chambray kind of fabric, which does have that sort of, it looks like it, the weave, you know, is sort of like a denim, it's like a lightweight denim. But I thought that was kind of interesting. If that, I'm wondering if that's what that is. Um, and <laughs> so I was looking at the bag more, this bag. Um, and I know I had said in a previous video because someone had asked me um, about the background color because some of the patches in here, the patches, <laughs> um, are... Uh, French, they look like French paisley and it's lining, French ditzy. Um, and so I did say, oh yeah, the background is blue. They've switched the background color on this persistence patchwork and it's blue rather than um, the purple that you get on the actual French paisley and French ditzy. Um, and I, I will try to hold them closer <coughs> to the um, screen. <coughs> oh, Rosie, it's, I'm sure it's not. <coughs> Rosie. Rosie, Rosie, <coughs> Rosie, it's nothing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, she thinks she's really tough. Hey, enough, enough. Yesterday I was walking her. And she jumped about five feet in the air because she saw a toad. <laughs> she's not as tough as all that. Rosie Rose, come here, please, with your bone. Thank you. Oh my word. Now you know what my life is like. <laughs> anyway, so because I was looking at this the strap, I started to look a little bit more closely at the actual French Paisley and French Ditzy swatches on here. And I noticed it's not just the background color that's changed. They've actually played with the color in the pattern, which I thought was interesting. And so this pattern, see if I can find some. Well, there, now you've done it, Rosie. Um, from from small details to to larger, more noticeable details. Here's one. Um, trying to find easy easy way to show it. Um, yeah. So here, yeah. Okay. And I'll see if I can get this close. I'm a little wobbly here. So here, let's see if I can get my light good for you. On a square, you can see the details are like turquoise in these sort of petal shapes. Here, same area of fabric. Um, here, right, yeah, <laughs> sorry, there we go, okay, here it's lavender in, in there, um, and so there are lots of changes like that in this bag, um, 
this is another big difference. Here, again, turquoise, turquoise in these details there. Here, and a white flower with pink center here. But here, same kind of detail, yellow flower, and instead of all the turquoise that you have here, you have pink. So, um, yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, I'm sure you know I could go. You could go through this if you have the you have both versions. You could sit down and look at them, and you could find a lot more differences. Um, <clears throat> well, you shouldn't have jumped down. Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I just I just thought that was kind of neat. I don't know with my light if the color difference will really come out here. But it is, a, yeah, you can sort of see it. There's the linings. The, the, this is French ditzy, you know, and so that's this strip there. So it's a difference there, a real difference there in the color. Navy bluish kind of color and a, a deep kind of purple. But I did think, like I said, I did think it was kind of nice, kind of neat that, um, that they didn't just change the background color. So they did something a little bit more complex. Um, but back to my outlet stuff. Um, so once I got past that, <laughs> um, I, I really like this. I like this sort of, it's got this cushy kind of feeling. Um, it's a very small bag. It's kind of smaller than I would normally go for. And I don't know, you know, if I'll use I might use it as a crossbody right now. I don't know if I'll use it just this way right now because I've been carrying a, around a lot of stuff. Um, and sometimes you want your hands free, especially to use hand sanitizer and stuff. So I'm not sure if I'll be using it as a satchel satchel right now, but I definitely would use it crossbody right now. So just your basics on this. Again, the color is blue chambray and it, it does have this great kind of almost shiny uh, iridescent kind of feel to it um, and it has a it's kind of squishy it, it definitely you can feel the padding in there so I like that it feels nice in your hand um, it just has these solid kind of cloth woven straps like you would see on a sportier more casual bag I'm okay with that and I do like the way that it's piped that is the lining fabric, which I'll get to. But I like that they have that little piping on the edge, just a little bit of interest. And, it, and you see it from a distance, just catch your eye. So I like that. And it comes with the, the handles and then a removable strap, adjustable strap. Um, so the specifics, just real quick, I did write them down so I wouldn't have to stand here measuring. But um, the strap adjusts, and these are all kind of rough. I did, when I measured these, made these measurements with the straps, I did include the hardware because um, it adds length and also this seemed like it was going to be a little short and I thought that people might want to, you know, stretch as much length as they could out of it. <laughs> um, so it adjusts from, uh-oh, this measurement isn't right. I think, I think it adjusts uh, 26, I'm going to have to do the, I didn't write down the longest one properly, I have to do that. Um, 26 inches, I guess would be 39, 40, but um, just from what I wrote down there, um, but I'm not sure. So just real quick, I'm going to include the hardware. 45 with the hardware. So that does seem a little bit shorter um, than some other crossbody straps I've measured. Um, may be a little short for some people like I'm gonna I'll put it on I'll pack the bag up a little bit and put it on so people can see what it looks like um, but I do have a feeling that that I'm, I might have it out at that longest extension and I'm not that big of a person so if someone's a little bit taller a little bit bigger I'm wondering if they might it might not work for them um, so it does have a slip pocket on the front. The top opening is 13 across and it's one of those, um, one of the newer 
soft plastic zippers that just looks like metal. I like those zippers. I think they, they're working very well. This is like a pleather pull tie, sort of mimics a ribbon, but it's pleather. And it matches the label, which is on the side without the pocket. This side doesn't have anything, and it's just got that. I do like these sort of um, quilted details in the corners. Uh, and I just I like that. I thought I might miss the overall body quilting, but I, I don't on these so much, the VBU stuff. Um, the height is about nine or nine and a half. And the base, I just measured it for around the seam. That's about um, 10 and a half by 4. Not removable. It's padded. There's something in there that's very cushy, but it, um, it, it, you can't take it out. I don't know. I, th I have a feeling this was spot clean only on the um, website. And normally I don't worry about throwing you know, Vera, I, I throw much of my Vera <laughs> in the machine. This I might hesitate, I'm not sure. Risky, I'm not sure. I'll be very careful with this, I think. Um, this, this, so this handle drop is four inches when the bag is like this, like it's not slouching. But you'll see once you put stuff in, it can slouch a little bit and that gets you a little bit more room there. But it's still a very short handle drop. I mean, I can get it up there, <laughs> you know. But uh, it's, it's a little on the awkward side. Um, so when you use the sh this strap at its shortest, like it is now, so that shortest was 26. Let me check that again. Seems a little long. Um, again, with the, oh, that's right, 26 with the hardware. And so when you do a strap drop with that, again, before the bag is slouching, um, the strap drop is about 11, but the bat, the top of the bag will slouch a little bit with weight in it. So I could just throw a couple, oh, and inside it has, should turn it inside out first, show the lining, because lining is cute. Um, two standard kind of configuration that of course you won't be able to see here because it's dark. <laughs> it's like a black hole in there, um, but two slip pockets, relatively small on one side of the bag and a, a zipper pocket. It's a decent size on the other side of the bag. I mean, on the other wall of the bag. And so this uh, lining is very cute. Uh, I, I'm not 100% crazy about the color scheme here, but, um, but it has snails in it and, it, and it's cute. <laughs> So it's got these sort of clusters of similar flowers, you know, all across the ground there. This does look like a black background to me. And you can see the snails. Sort of hard not to think of like SpongeBob SquarePants and Gary. <laughs> when, when I look at this fabric, although if you're like me, SpongeBob SquarePants is all about plankton. I love Plankton. He makes that, that cartoon worth it. He's the part of that cartoon that's for the adults. <laughs> um, so and again, again, that was that. That's what's piped there on the edge of the um, straps. So I can just throw a couple of things in here. Now this is, since this is so small, I probably wouldn't bother with the cell phone, the Carson cell phone crossbody that I usually use around my phone in a bag, but it does, I think it's going to slip in, yeah, slips in one of those slip pockets. It sticks out, but it slips in fine. Normally with a bag this small, I wouldn't take such a big, like, honk and wall, turn lock wallet. I would take something smaller, like a Riley or uh, that card case that they're not making anymore that I love. <laughs> so, of course, since I love it, they're not making it anymore. Uh, something small, maybe a vintage, you know, style that's smaller, throw in there, taxi wallet or something. And I also, this is my normal thing for gloves, a Midtown uh, cosmetic, but it's kind of big, so I'm not going to bother putting it in there. I would definitely switch it out to something smaller. But I can take this, I can stick this in there, lighten up medium cosmetic, I'd charger cords in there. And maybe I'll just put, um, 
my mini dome in there. Okay. I wonder if my hand sanitizer will fit. Oh, it does fit. Yay. <laughs> that hand sanitizer, uh -oh. that hand sanitizer um, bottle's so tall. Okay. It's not slouching. <laughs> Forced slouch. Um, so yeah, I could, you know. But I would only do that in a real like emergency. Oh, I need my hands and I don't have my crossbody strap. But anyway, so you know, I'm gonna try to get back enough so you can see it just from the hand. It's kind of hard to see it, but there we go. <laughs> so I definitely would carry it, you know, carry it like that or or that way. Uh, not, you know, I, I do that. Um, but more, more than likely, I will keep this. I always will keep this inside the bag, even if I don't have it on the bag at any given time, you know. And it's just a lobster claw clasp, you know. It is very heavy. It's very heavy, substantial, like weighty hardware for such a small bag. I, I did, that struck me right away. See, it almost seemed like overkill. Because um, you're not going to be. You know, the bag isn't big enough to really load up with that much stuff. So you can see there it does slouch. That was right. <laughs> and that gets you more space for the drop. And so, you know, I would wear it like this as a shoulder bag. I do, I would like it a little bit shorter, you know, but it, it's close enough. I mean, I do feel like if it were a little bit longer, that's when it starts to get to be a problem. When you're carrying, carrying a shoulder bag and it's about there, I think then it starts to look a little bit more dated. It reminds me of my mom. Sorry, Mom. Love you. <laughs> um, but anyway, I do think it's nice. It's a pretty color. And then crossbody. And I think this is probably the way I'm going to use this bag the most. Fairly easy to adjust. And def definitely feels like it will stay in place. You know, it won't this won't slip around. I know some people have said with some crossbodies this buckle slips around once the bag gets some weight in it, but I've never had that happen with any of the styles yet. So I like that. And I like that it has some width this way rather than being a, a tall, narrow crossbody, which I tend I tend not to like those. I try really tried with the triple zip hipster. Uh, I do have a few of them that I'll keep because I love the pattern, but I'm not going to be ordering any more hipsters. Or I never was into the mail bags. They're too north south for me for a crossbody and too flat. But this I like as a crossbody. It gives me a little bit of coverage, but width wise. And it's got a slouchy look to it. I just feel like it's soft against my body and not just this big sort of flat board against my body, which is what I kind of tend to feel like with the, the triple zip. It's easier to pack up a bag like this, I think. But anyway, this strap is comfortable. I don't envision any problems with it. Soft, not slippery. There's also this sort of pleather band here on the strap. You know, sort of helps you keep your strap in line. Um, uh, I thought for a minute about cutting it off, but I think I'm going to keep it. But I'm not crazy about the color, the fact that it's pleather. Um, but what are you going to do? So that's that, and I am I am pleased with that. I like that a lot. This slip pocket goes down to the bottom. Probably could fit my phone in there. Let's see. And I tend not to keep my phone in exterior slip pockets. Uh, I don't think that's secure enough, but it does fit in there. This is the iPhone 11. It does fit right in there. And so if people are curious, I mean, I just, I don't know if you'll be able to see much. I just have stuff sort of lined up in there. Uh, but I, I, you know, again, I probably, you know, would have to, I wouldn't be carrying as much as I normally would in my, you know, in a tote. So that's that. And then I decided to keep with the VBU theme. <laughs> um, and I, I got this, which let me just check. I think it's the VBU satchel, uh, tote. Yeah. BBU tote and the color is blush fig, which is this just delicious, you know, 
color and a, like a micro whale corduroy. Um, when this, this stuff first came out, I thought this color was beautiful. I mean, so feminine and so rich looking, even though it's a, a lighter color. Sorry for all the chewing noise, which I'm sure you'll be able to hear in this video. <laughs> Um, keeps them from getting in trouble and killing each other on camera. Um, I do have some measurements written down on this. Um, the, there's one thing aspect of this bag that is making me a little nervous, but I am going to keep it. Um, so I opened it up. I'm looking at the pockets on the front. There's this, uh, well, I don't know which is technically the front. It's actually, well, the labels here. But this bag, I feel like it's very... Because there's a pocket on each side, that front and backness doesn't jump out as much. But there is that um, little pleather label there on the side with the zipper pocket. And again, these are both the zipper and the top zipper are, the, again, those newer plastic zippers that just look like the metal, you know, but they're soft and they work well. Um, so anyway, I'm looking at it and I noticed that there was this card in the slip pocket. And it reads, <laughs> due to the characteristics of this fabrication, this product may transfer color onto light colored clothing or materials. Use care when carrying. So I got to say, when I saw that, I was like, oh God, this is going back. <laughs> um, because I, who wants to deal with that nonsense? And it's worried about it. Um, like I wouldn't wear it with this shirt outside probably uh, until I... Like road tested it. Uh, sorry, I don't know if you can see this. Maybe I should move my camera just a little bit. This is what goes on in my house. We have portions of time dedicated to ear licking. And Peaches gets her ears licked by Rosie. And that's probably her favorite thing about Rosie is that Rosie is willing to do that for her. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, yeah, still, oh, you can see. Still going on. There they are. <laughs> yeah, it's a little icky. Um, I think that's really Peaches' favorite, like I said, her favorite thing about Rosie. <laughs> Did I say that? Because otherwise I feel like she's just tolerating Rosie sometimes. Um, okay, so I, I was thinking, well, okay, I don't know if I want to deal with that color transfer issue, but then I packed it up with some stuff, and I really liked the way it felt and the way it looked. So, I mean, you know, I'll give it a shot, take a chance, carry it with, you know, I'm wearing black, um, see what happens. Um, but anyway, wasn't too excited when I saw that card, though. Um, the straps are the same kind of material as on the satchel, only they're a different color here, obviously. And this, this corduroy kind of... <laughs> gives me that throwback feeling again makes me feel like when I was in middle school or junior high and my mother still made me wear corduroy pants <laughs> again love you mom <laughs> this is a tough a tough video for mom um so I, I will pack it up just you know when I also I felt when I first opened it up I was like wow this is really kind of gigantic um but when you pack it up you know it kind of gets its thickness then and it doesn't look so like a flat pancake um, but the height is about or the opening is about 19 the height's about 14 um, and the base again measuring from seam to seam um, the base was about 14 and a half by 6 so again that same kind of base as in the satchel it's sort of cushy but it doesn't come out and this I know was spot clean only on the website now I was thinking maybe I'll Take a chance and throw it in the washing machine and see what happens because um, I have washed things that have been spot clean only and they've been fine and maybe that would deal with the it would maybe wash out some of the I don't know if the color would fade but maybe that would help prevent some transfer I don't know um, the strap handle drop when the bag again is not slouched is eight inches but it does slouch and so that gets you more space here when you have it on and I find this shoulder drop or whatever it ends up being great for me both in the way it looks and the way it feels and so that adjustable strap it comes oh where is it? it does come with an adjustable strap 
somewhere, and it uh, attaches to these loops. Oh, here it is. Again, just like the one on the satchel, and it with that pleather band there. And this adjusts from about 25 to 43, and again, I measure the hardware. Um, so I can try to put this on at some point. But I'll pack up the, I'll show the lining and then pack up um, the bag. I actually should have kept this inside out. I might turn that back inside out because these linings, while they are very similar, are not exactly the same. The colors have changed. Have been changed. This has more of a lilac feel to it. Uh, lavender feel to it. The snails are a different color. Um, you can see there's a sort of a cool lavender uh, going on in a lot of the flowers there. These sort of lacy flowers almost remind you of like eyelet fabric there. Um, where's the where's the snail? Here we go. And so the snails here So I have all my stuff in here. All three things. <laughs> okay. Let's just see if I can get them side by side. See if my light will cooperate and you can see the difference. Maybe I'll do it this way. So you can sort of see the difference. The 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 the, sat, the tote, the bigger one, has more of that lilac kind of color. Um, you know, so you've got these here, but over here they're sort of this pinky coral kind of color. And the snail here is sort of green, a minty kind of green color. Um, Whereas here, what was green is now, you know, sort of a pale pink. Gary is now pale pink. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I'm just going to pack it up a little bit because I do think it, you know, it looks, once you get it on, I, I think it really becomes much more appealing looking and it just feels so great. This corduroy is just feels so yummy. I mean, it's just so soft. And it's such a feminine color. It's like a ballet slipper kind of pink. I don't know if people, you know, are really familiar with that. I used to dance, so I'm familiar with that when I was a little younger. Um, okay, so I'm putting all my stuff in here. My GPS pouch, not Vera. Shh. My Midtown cosmetic with my gloves. A uh, pencil, a uh, pen in, in this old on the roll. I think that's an old on the roll. Definitely will accommodate my cell phone, my Carson cell phone crossbody in one of the slip pockets. You can see it there. Uh, these slip pockets did not go down all the way to the bottom of the bag. Just mentioning that. Um, I, did, I am going to put my hand sanitizer in one of them anyway though, one of those slip pockets. And the zipper pocket, there's a zipper, should I say that? There's, there's two slip pockets, I don't know if I said that, there's two slip pockets on one side of the bag and um, a zipper pocket on the other side, which is what I'm putting my masks in. Just sort of hanging there, sticking out so I can grab them easily. And then there's the two slip pockets my phone and the hand sanitizer. I'm sure everything else you won't really be able to see all that well. It's going to turn into a black hole probably. I do have my iPad mini which I does slip nicely into one of the slip pockets in the Vera tote. I actually think I'll try to put that where the hand sanitizer is. Let's see. Ooh, it does. It just fits in there, my iPad mini. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to dump this in there. Uh, and my photos in various ID cases. Mini Dome Cosmetic on top of that. I think this bag kind of packs up nice. This is my charger cords again. And last but not least, my wallet up front with the hand sanitizer, maybe. 
Okay. Let's see if anyone can see any of that. Sort of, but it does get a little dark. But I, I think it packs up really nice. I, I didn't feel like, even though the bag of slouch chain doesn't really stand up on its own, once you start getting stuff in there, it doesn't it's not a problem to load it up. It kind of stays standing. And the pocket works nicely. The slip pocket, I mean the zipper pocket goes, the zipper pocket goes down all the way to the bottom of the bag. I assume the same thing happens with this slip pocket. Yeah, all the way down to the bottom of the bag. Zip it up a little bit. So it does slouch. It has a very slouchy, droopy look. Probably also because I have my iPad mini and my phone in the slip pockets. That's they have some weight to them and they're pulling on the lining which is not you know it's not tacked down in the same way that the quilted linings you know didn't sag so this is blousier in there and so sometimes that's contributing to the pull the look of the pull if it bothers you you probably should put lighter things in the slip pockets on the inside and that might help with that issue so I just love the way it looks against the body and it feels good and it's right in the curve because the strap drop is good for me. So the width, it does still have some width to it, almost like the work tote or the reactive tote. Um, but once it's got that width to it this way, it doesn't, you know, it, it loses some of the length this way. And so that helps. Very comfortable, very soft. This fabric is soft. I could just, you know, you just want to touch it. <laughs> And with the other pocket out. So I'm 5'4 and about 130. Gives you a sense of how it might look on you. Really like it. It's just great. Really great. Uh, now I'm going to put the, let's put the strap on. This I didn't. Uh, I didn't try it on crossbody. I'm assuming though it will probably work well as a crossbody um, for when you're using it more for travel, if you use it for travel. Like I feel about the reactive tote where I could see if you're really running through the airport, it was comfortable and I put it on crossbody. I could see doing it that way. This is a little bit of a long, too long of a strap drop for me. Uh, I probably wouldn't wear it this way. Because what's happening is my elbow is just sort of not hitting any of the bag. And I like to feel like my elbow is over the bag, sort of securing it. And that's why I like that shorter strap drop a lot of the time, in addition to the way it looks. Um, but it still has that nice sort of slouchy, almost like a, it almost reminds me of the Carson Hobo from this angle forward. If people are familiar with that bag, I love that bag. Another thing that, of course, because I love it, they discontinued it. <laughs> Said, oh, I see. Lisa likes that bag. Oh, it's got to go. Okay, so I'll just adjust this out a little bit and see what it looks like. Crossbody. I tend to like my crossbody to hang kind of low. So it does. That gives you coverage. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I probably, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pull this bag out of my closet you know, with the intent of wearing a crossbody, like I need a crossbody bag. This is the one I'm going for. I mean, uh, I would go for something smaller, a little bit smaller. A little on the the largest I might go would be the large on the go crossbody, with the intention of wearing a crossbody. I would probably only wear it this way in an emergency when I'm out and I really need my hands for something. Otherwise, I'd just keep it on my shoulder. I could see if you're someone who maybe is recovering from an injury or can't. You know, um, shoulder bags don't work for you for whatever reason. I mean, I, my shoulders are different heights now because when I was younger and in school, starting in junior high, I was carrying around a lot of books and a flute almost every day. And I was wearing a shoulder bag or my backpack um, on one shoulder all the time instead of two. I don't know if it's, can't, maybe it's not so noticeable here. This shoulder is higher. Uh, unless I really concentrate on pushing that muscle down, but I got so used to carrying a bag. So, so I mean, there's something to be said for not wearing a shoulder bag and wearing a crossbody, relieve your 
shoulders because um, you can damage your shoulders over time. So you get old like me. Um, I don't remember what I paid for these. Obviously, it's online outlets sale and so they were super discounted and really good prices but it's, retail this was 110 which I would not have paid um, for this probably because I mean I, I, I feel like if you're gonna pay a lot I, I want a pattern I, I, that's what makes Vera Bradley really unique and I would want a pattern this one straight retail was 85 don't remember what I paid, but obviously, I mean, between thirty and forty dollars, I think. I mean, I don't remember exactly. Um, and I did just want to mention one last thing again, just to call out the, the the little quilting detail in the corners here. Really like that. There's that little touch there, and that it wraps around the corner. I like that. I like the way that looks. Pretty nice soft because there's no seam here you know that's what's nice about this bag is there's no side seams so it softens things up so anyway I hope people found that helpful the um, VBU tote in the blush fig which is a like a really fine whale corduroy feels great and the um, VBU satchel in blue chambray which definitely has a chambray it's a chambray feel to it um, so Anyway, thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.